All right, this is uh, proficiency number three, Hess's Law. Um, here's the worksheet for it. I was actually going to flip it over and show you this one on the back, just because I think it's kind of an important example for you to see. So again, how I like to do these is get everything where it needs to be first. So first thing I do here is I look and say I need C on the left-hand side. Do I have just a carbon? Well, graphite, but just a carbon by itself on the left-hand side? Yes, I do. Great. Do I have O2 by itself on the left-hand side? Yes, I do. But, uh, this will be tricky, but that will get taken care of. Um, do I have CO2 on the right-hand side? No. I only have a CO2 on the left. So what that means you have to do is you have to flip this entire equation. So everything that was written on the right needs to be written on the left and vice versa. So we rewrite this here. and We'll have CH3, COOH, plus 2O2 gives you 2CO2 plus 2H2O. So this equation is not our equation anymore. And the only trick is the, the number over here, you have to do whatever you did to this to that. So here we flipped it, so this you just make it um, a negative. So it's now negative 217.8. Great. All right. Now we have everything where we need to have it. We need to look at getting rid of stuff we don't want. So up here in this equation, we don't want anything with hydrogen in it. Um, so we have this. Um, we don't want. We have this. We don't want. We have this. We don't want. And so if you have the same amount of something on the left as you do on the right, they cancel each other out. So we have one CH3 COOH on the left, one on the right, so they're going to cancel each other out. That'll be great. Um, but we have two water on the right and two water on the right over here, um, and two hydrogen on the left and two hydrogen on the left. So we need to keep this bottom one where it is, but we need to flip this middle one so these hydrogens will cancel out and these waters will cancel out. So do the same thing we did before, two H2O gives you 2H2 plus O2, and then flip this. This was a negative. We just need to make it a positive. All right. So you look at this now, and things are going to cancel out that, that we'd like to get rid of. All right. So you look at this now, and we have two oxygens on the left plus this oxygen on the left is three O2s on the left. And then we're going to get rid of, be able to get rid of one of them because we have an O2 on the right. So basically this one will cancel off this one and leave us with two. We also here, we have two carbons, two oxygens, and two carbon dioxides. Now we could go through and divide everything by two because that's a problem. But we can do something else instead. And let me show you what that is. Let's go ahead and call this good and cancel everything out. So one of those, one of those, two of those, two of those, two H2s, two H2s, an O2 on the right, an O2 on the left, and we're left with two carbon plus two O2 gives us two CO2. And you see how that's just um, exactly double what we had um, supposed to be getting to begin with, supposed to end with to begin with. So all we do here is just add these up. So um, 143 minus 122.2 minus 217.8. This equals negative 197. Now, so all we do for our final answer is divide both of these by 2. So our final answer is going to be negative 98.5. So if you get to a situation where you can easily make um, double this or um, half this, then you can go through, get your answer, and then just double it or divide it or whatever you need to do to, to get it to be the right number.